Well, Jim Abbott. Growing up, I had to switch it up. Learning was tough. Jim Abbott, that's all. Jim Abbott, that's all. Jim Abbott, was all. Jim Abbott, plus all. He batted, that's all. Jim Abbott. Growing up, I had to switch it up. Learning was tough. Jim Abbott, that's all. Jim Abbott, that's all. Jim Abbott, Jim Abbott was a Major League Baseball player. He pitched for the Yankees in the late 80s, early 90s. And uh, he was born with only one arm. So basically in 1993, my oldest brother David and my dad went to Yankee Stadium to watch the Yankees play against the Cleveland Indians. That game, Jim Abbott was pitching and he pitched a no-hitter. A no-hitter is extremely rare. Like it happens like one out of every 2,000 games. Probabilities are insane. I was in my mother's womb at the time and nine months later, I was born with, uh, with what doctors called a congenital syndactyly. I was born with eight fingers, three on this hand, and I've had three surgeries to be able to move and grasp and, and to be able to use it functionally. So when I was six, around six years old, and my brother David, who collected decks of baseball cards in his room, one day he brought me in his room, we were flip, flipping through some baseball cards, and he said, Zach, uh, I want to show you something pulled out this one card out of his deck, and he said, I want to give this to you. This is a Jim Abbott baseball card. I said, who's Jim Abbott? And he showed me on the card, and he said, Zach, you know, this guy Jim Abbott, he pitched for the Yankees, a major league baseball player. He pitched a no-hitter. We were at that game, and he was born with only one arm. And I was like, wow, and he's in the major leagues? And he was like, yep. Not only that, he pitched a no-hitter, which is like, one of the hardest things you can do in this sport. For me, at that age, to see that this pitcher, not only with one arm was able to make it all the way to the, to the league, but was also able to do one of the hardest things, pitch a no-hitter, that was extremely inspiring for me at the time. And you can only imagine, like, I thought I could do anything at that point with my hands. That was the proof I needed by seeing Jim Abbott and knowing about him. So I got a lefty glove at that point, and probably when I was in like t-ball, I would actually catch it in this hand, it would just be normal like that, and then I would put it in this and then take it back and throw it. And then I would quickly put it back on like that. And basically it just, just became the process for how I would play baseball. Catch it with my left, tuck it in my arm, take the ball out, throw it to him hard. I'ma get it down, I'ma get it right. Mama sign me up, I could play all right. I played all sports. My parents put me into everything. Like there was literally gonna be no excuse. Like <laughs> I was going to be put into every sport and play just like all the other kids. You know, I, I, at that young age, like it was kind of a strange time for me. And I was still figuring out like my body and what was going on and kids at school were asking me what was going on and I was confused about it. The most common thing people would ask, I don't know why, but they would just like ask like, hey Zachary, how are your three fingers going? And like, that was like the most common thing they would always say. And I was like, what? How are my three fingers going? Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> like, how do you answer that question? Like, they're going fine. Like, I'm just walking around right now. Like, it didn't bother me as much as like, I was always wondering like, why are people asking? Like, why does it matter? I, I think it was like fourth grade and this girl Teresa came up to me. She was like, hey, Zachary, how are your three fingers going? And my friend, my buddy Max at the time was next to me and he, he, he stuck up for me. He said, hey, Teresa, how are your three penises going? And I was like, thanks, Max. Uh, but it was just like really random. And like he stuck up for me. That was just like a funny moment I can always remember. Over the years, I think the hardest thing, it was always an internal battle. It was never like, pe ne people were never really p ever putting me down about it or making me feel like less about it because I was able to do everything. Honestly, I played every sport. I did everything, but the one thing that always kind of got me was like shaking hands and like always making a first impression on people. Obviously, it's on my right hand, so I've always had to shake with this hand and, and people would obviously recognize it right off the bat a lot of the time. And that was very hard. That was probably the most, one of the most difficult things to deal with over the years. And that was always really hard for me to accept. 
there was a lot of pieces of myself that I needed to overcome over the years. That is like a big foundation of like what I represent is like you have to overcome things over the years. You have to get rid of pieces of yourself that are difficult. But now, now at like 25, I like, like I've realized like how many things that this hand has like actually like just, I just see how it shaped me. And like, and basically it's, it's a big proponent of levels and, and building from the core and just, it's always helped me to realize like you need to, like any, any issues that you have inside, like you need to address them or else I would be walking around all the time like with my hands in my pockets and insecure and whatnot. Like, like I did that at a, period, at a period of time. I would always keep it in my pockets and I knew I needed to address it. So I've, I've become the type of person who's like, you know, like no bullshit. Like let's 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 address what's on the table here. And I think that's like a really good quality that kind of stemmed from my hand and, and just like accepting it and loving myself for it. And obviously it's a continue ongoing process, but you level up, things get better and better over the years, over time. Zach. So well for you, yeah, girl. Got me naked in the shower, baby girl. 